Hi, Humber, it's May 9th, and here is your weekly update, Summer Style. I am Kizia Hines, and I'm a journalism student working up here at the North Campus this summer. A group of four students in the Creative Advertising degree program have won first place in a competition sponsored by Advertising Standards Canada. Their campaign, which explores the theme of truth in advertising, was one of more than 40 submissions from students across Canada. Another group of Humber students won fourth place. Earlier this week, Raisin Rhythm held its annual fundraiser at the Rex Jazz Bar. The event collected donations for the Chakarongo Arts and Youth Academy in Zambia, which uses music to teach children and youth about HIV and AIDS. Raising Rhythm helps the Academy with monetary donations and also sends instruments to be used by the young musicians. We spoke with Liz De Caesar, a student in the International Development Postgrad program and one of the organizers of the evening. Raising Rhythm as a nonprofit charity is very much in line with what I'm learning in school. The music programs that are done at the SIA Academy in Zambia are mostly for youth who are affected by HIV and AIDS. Uh, Zambia has a 12% rate of people who are directly affected by HIV AIDS. So a lot of the work that we do is with youth that are directly affected. We sort of use music as a medium to do health education and sort of get them out of situations that might be negative and sort of get them back up on their feet. It really is a good way to support programs that are being done in Zambia that are really having a positive impact on people's lives. And finally, the Student Leadership Institute was held at the North Campus last weekend. This was a two-day event filled with workshops, seminars, and a chance to network, plus a lot of fun. And that's it for this week. It's pretty quiet around here considering all the programs offered this summer. But there's still lots going on. For Humber Today, I am Kizia Hines. See you soon.